powerful computers and devices of today have nearly eliminated the once ubiquitous splash screens of the 90s. While the necessity for splash screens has certainly decreased with regards to native application performance, the need for some sort of an automated loading splash screen is increasingly becoming relevant again thanks to ever-expanding rich internet applications. Splash screens are easy to implement, but we at DevExpress decided to make it even easier for implementation within your Silverlight and WPF applications. Thus, we've introduced the DX splash screen for Silverlight and WPF. In this video, you'll see how to add a splash screen to your application. I'll start with a new instance of Visual Studio. I'll create a new WPF application project. I need to add the splash screen to my project. To do this, I'll right-click the project and invoke the Add New Item window. I'll select DX Splash Screen and add it to the project. You can see that a standard XAML file has been created and loaded in the designer. By default, this splash screen has an image, a load indicator, and a copyright notice. As this is created using standard XAML, the markup can be modified to customize the splash screen in any way you like. The splash screen can then be displayed and hidden using a single line of code. Now let's take a look at the splash screen for Silverlight. I'll create a new Silverlight application project. I'll need to make sure a website project is also created with it, otherwise it will not be possible to display the splash screen. I'll right-click the web project and add a new DX splash screen. You can see the splash screen is again created as a standard XAML file and can be fully customized. To load the splash screen automatically, you can see that the item template has automatically added the appropriate code in both the ASPX as well as the included HTML files of the website project. Finally, this is what the default Silverlight splash screen looks like at runtime. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.